www.ignitetime.org. This broadcast is presented by Bilictus Oil and Propane, Countertop Solutions, Catfish Pallet and Wood Supply, Triple E Manufacturing, Necker's Company General Store, Daniels Electric and Flix Heating and Plumbing, The Cornerstone Restaurant, J. Edwards Insurance, Hoyer's Greenhouse, Mosier's Carpeting, UTAG's Body Shop, and Tina Dills, ERA Team VP Licensed Real Estate Agent. And now let's head to the field for all the action of CSP Wolfpack Baseball play-by-play. Good afternoon, baseball fans, and welcome to the campus of Climber Central School where CSP Wolfpack play host to the Casadega Valley Cougars. They're the Cougars, right, Pat? Yep. I'm right. Kyle Hinsdale, joined by my partner, Pat Katniss, and we're excited to bring you Wolfpack Baseball here on a beautiful Thursday afternoon. Apologize for the slight delay. Casadega Valley got uh, arrived maybe uh, 10 minutes ago, so they were a little late getting here, but they uh, found where they were going, and it looks like we're going to get started here. CSP coming off, entering the game with a record of 5-3 and three on the season. Enter uh, coming in on a one-game losing streak after losing to... Frewsburg last night by a score of four to nothing. Uh, thought CSP really did a nice job. Um, got a great outing by starting pitcher Tate Catney's last night. Went all seven innings, six six innings, and uh, pitched a real gem and made Frewsburg be hitters. Didn't give them any walks, and uh, they had timely hitting throughout the night. Uh, whereas CSP. Uh, threatened early in the game, uh, first, uh, second, third with one out, was unable to get a run across the plate and uh, had a couple occasions in the remainder of the game where they uh, where they threatened that we just were not able to get a run across. So it looks as though we have both teams. Now we might be waiting on umpires, Pat. There's one. I see one here now. One sitting yeah. over here to our left. So, um, so we'll see uh, CSP again playing host to Casadega Valley. Uh, CSP plays again tomorrow night. Uh, so three straight, uh, three straight games for the Wolfpack, and they will be hosting Brockton tomorrow night, a team that we have not faced. Uh, just like tonight, Pat, we have not faced not this team either. Not seen this team this year. Uh, and w they enter the game. I don't know what their record is, but you say they're. I think they're very. Halfway, uh, they're pretty good. Halfway yes. decent. Yep. Yep. So they should be a, a good opponent for us. Our boys played the field well last night. We just didn't, like you said, we didn't have timely hits when we needed them. No. So we'll see how tonight goes and. I believe uh, Bryce Hinsdale is going to get the start for the Wolfpack tonight. And based on the lineup, it's going to be Hilliker for the uh, for the Cougars. So what we'll do is we're going to take a quick break here, and then we will return hopefully with two umpires when we get back after these messages. Stick with us. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. UTAG's Body Shop in Cory is helping to bring you this broadcast. Along with collision repair and refinishing, UTAG's offers frame straightening services. Located at 633 East Smith Street in Cory, UTAG's Body Shop. Man, I loved playing high school sports growing up. And it's fun being a fan now, don't get me wrong, but... Sitting in the stands feels like I'm missing out on all the action, you know? I wanted to get back in the game. So, 
I signed up to be a high school official. It takes me back to my playing days. I'm supporting students and I get paid to make the big calls. Do you want to see the game up close? Sign up to become an official in New York at highschoolofficials.com. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002 or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for Wolfpack baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! From Countertop Solutions. CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is brought to you in part by Troyer's Greenhouse. Now open for the season Monday through Saturday. Troyer's Greenhouse is located at 1669 Weeks Road, just two miles west of Panama. Go Wolfpack from Troyer's Greenhouse. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage is provided in part by Tina Dills, ERA Team VP Licensed Real Estate Agent. Serving the Wolfpack listening area in all of Chautauqua County with real estate services for buyers, sellers, vacation rentals, and all relocation needs. For more information on how to get your move going, Tina can be reached at 716-397-7790. Tina Dills and the ERA Team VP Agents wish the Wolfpack the best of luck. Corey's only locally operated radio station is Channel 98.9. With your eerie weather, your favorite personality. Thank you so much for joining us on a Monday. You see today local news, entertainment, and information around the clock. And Corey's Modern Rock. Channel 98.9, your one radio station. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. CSP Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Dream is provided in part by Steve Daniels Electric and Flicks Heating and Plumbing and Air Conditioning, located at 147 East Main Street in Quarry. They offer residential and light commercial new services, as well as electrical repairs, well pumps, and water conditioning systems. Phone 814-665-6034. Online at FlixHeatingPlumbingAnd.com. School sports are played by humans 
coached by humans, and officiated by humans. So the next time you're sitting in the stands at a school athletic event, please remember this and maintain your humanity, especially when it comes to judging and critiquing athletes, coaches, and officials. Please show your fellow humans some respect. They'll appreciate your empathy. This message presented by NISFA and the New York State Athletic Administrators Association. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Necker's Company General Store. Providing Climber with groceries, apparel, gift items, and so much more for over 100 years. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Necker's Company General Store for their support. All right, welcome back to the campus of Climber Central School where CSP plays host to Casadega Valley Cougars. And we are now have two teams and two umpires. And uh, so I think we're going to get things started here, Pat. Yeah, I think the, the teams were warming up and ready to go, so we're going to see the first pitch here shortly. Traditional lineup for the Wolfpack when Bryce Hinsdale is pitching. So Grant Lichtis, of course, is behind the plate. Andrew Spiesman is at first. Tanner Mahako at second. Tate Katney uh, at short. Uh, Gavin Burchanowski playing the hot corner at third. You've got Carson, Carson White Wright. in left field, Caden Beckerink in center, and Colin Sturgis in right field. So, and leading off for the Cougars is going to be Winnagle. First batter faced by Bryce Hinsdale. And that ball is high and outside for ball one. That one got away from him, Kyle. Yeah. That ball high. So two balls and no strikes here on the leadoff hitter for the Cougars. There's a curveball in for a strike. So two balls and one strike. Beautiful day here in Climber. That's two nights in a row, Pat. Two nights in a row. Don't jinx it. Maybe we'll get three. There's a ground ball to short. Tate's going to come up throwing, and that ball is going to get away from Andrew Spiesman. And that's going to be a uh, base hit for Winnagle. So leadoff man on, and that's going to bring number 14, Edson, to the plate. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't come back to harm us right there, Kyle. That yeah. was slow roller. Take got it. See if we can play, uh, see if we can turn two here. Had a really nice double play last night against Frewsburg, turned yes. by Gavin Burchanowski and Tanner Mahako. There's a swing and a miss for strike one. So one ball and one strike on the number two hitter for the Cougars. Not much of a lead at first. 
First brace is staring him down. There you go. And he got him. And no. uh, not sure they're. So he got him picked off, but he was able to get the stolen base. And so runner at second in scoring position. It was a good pickoff move. He had him. Yeah. But the young man decided to go the other way, and it worked out for him. There's a curveball and for a strike on the outside part of the plate. So one ball and two strikes to Edson. See if Bryce can take care of this himself. There's a swing and a miss, ball in the dirt. Going to three. That's going to get him at third. So that advances the runner to third base. That is out number one of the inning. And that's going to bring number 21, Kroll, to the plate with one out and a man on third. Foul ball. Swing and a miss foul for strike one. <laughs> the umpire likes to throw the ball back to the pitcher. Yes, he does. Huh. Keeps that, that shoulder Keeps loose. That. <laughs> Must not have shoulders like mine. And there's strikes. a curveball on the outside part. So He's like no in balls. The outside and two part of the plate today. Yep, no balls and two strikes. <laughs> balls inside, and here he comes. He's going to come to the plate, and he's going to be in safe. So pass ball for CSP, and that is going to score one. So one nothing Casadega Valley, and that's going to empty the bases. All right, let's get these next two outs. One ball, two strikes on the batter. And a curve outside. Good so waist pitch. That was a good waist pitch. See if he'd reach for it. Two and two. There's a foul ball. So Kroll stays alive. Two and two. And there's a fly ball to right field. Colin Sturgis is underneath it and makes the catch. So good job by Colin out in right field, battling not only catching the ball, but battling the sun. And he made a great catch out there for out number two. And that's going to bring Hayward to the plate with two outs. And Castega Valley with one run across the plate here in the top of the first. And there's a first pitch strike. <laughs> one ball, one strike to the cleanup hitter playing center field. Nice pitch there. Ball inside right at the knees for strike two. And there's a slow roller back to Bryce. See if he can make the throw to first. And that ball is going to get away from him. Out of play. So CSP having trouble today throwing it to first base. And that is going to be a runner now at second. So base hit and then air to second. And that's going to bring up. John uh, Hilliker for Casadega Valley with a runner in scoring position on at second with two outs. There's a ball high for one and oh. Right, 
There's a swing and a miss for strike one. Evens the count at one. You know, CSP defensively last night, Pat, you mentioned it in the opening, was fantastic. Yeah. A little shaky here in the top of the first. Well, it could be, you know, we warmed up and then we waited yeah. for the other team. Yeah. So that, that could have a little bit of a bearing on it. Yeah. There's one right down the middle part of the plate for strike two. So one ball and two strikes. Another thing might be that the boys are trying to let up a little bit because Bryce is not over there at first. So they, you know, they can throw. They know they can throw it hard to Bryce, and he's going to yeah. catch everything. There goes the runner Struck swinging a mess for strikeout number one of the inning and out number three. So CSP with a couple errors in that inning, one costly, and after the. Top half of the first is one nothing Cougars. We'll be right back and see if the CSP bats can get going today when we return. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. UTAG's Body Shop in Cory is helping to bring you this broadcast. Along with collision repair and refinishing, UTAG's offers frame straightening services. Located at 633 East Smith Street in Cory, UTAG's Body Shop. Man, I loved playing high school sports growing up. And it's fun being a fan now, don't get me wrong, but sitting in the stands feels like I'm missing out on all the action, you know? I wanted to get back in the game, so I signed up to be a high school official. It takes me back to my playing days. I'm supporting students, and I get paid to make the big calls. Do you want to see the game up close? Sign up to become an official in New York at highschoolofficials.com. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on Channel 98.9 where CSP trails the Casadega Valley Cougars by a score of one to nothing after a half inning. So we're gonna see the bats for the first time today for the Wolfpack. And we're gonna see in this first inning, at least Caden Beckerink, Gavin Burchanowski, and Bryce Hinsdale. And CSP after getting shut out last night in Frewsburg looks to get the bats going. Did not have a ton of hits last night, Pat. No, that pitcher, he pitched a good game. I, I think we said at the end he had 12 strikeouts, yeah. one walk. That's a that's a pretty efficient game. Yep. And Tate had, what, seven strikeouts? Seven strikeouts no and walks. no walks, yep. They just happened to get timely hitting when we did not. So I'm sure we'll face we'll face them again. There's a ball in the dirt. I think I read that uh, Tate threw 88 pitches and uh, um, Hagelin? Hagelin threw 85 pitches. Really? Yeah, yeah. In what was what amounted to be an hour and 20 minute game, so <laughs> it was pretty quick. So no balls in one or one ball and no strikes. Yeah, last uh, night at this time we were on the four, we were in the fourth <laughs> inning. <laughs> yep. Two and zero oh to Caden Beckering. And there's a check swing foul. That high fastball. Yeah. Right. It's Caden's pitch. Two balls and one strike. So three and one here. See if CSP can get their leadoff hitter on and do the same thing that 
Casadega Valley did. Yeah. Or a few more than that. Yeah. There's ball low. So first batter, first walk of the game for Hilliker, and that's going to bring freshman Gavin Burchanowski to the plate. Lots of speed on first, so we'll see if uh, Coach Moreno gets aggressive early here. And there's a slow roller down third. That's going to be trouble, Pat. Yeah, it is. And sure enough, it is. And Caden Beckrink is going to try to go to third and is – not able to do it. And oh. as a result, uh, get the leadoff runner. And Coach Moreno wants to have a discussion with the base umpire. I think Caden is saying he was run into, but the likelihood of this getting overturned is Yeah, because that umpire slim was to watching none. the play at first, not over there. Yep. So, so base hit for Gavin Burchanowski, and that advanced Caden to second, and it was the third baseman that came into shallow infield to field that, so uh, nobody was on third at the time, so Caden thought he could make it, and unfortunately was tagged out, so... They're going to call him out. That play's going to stand. So one out here in the bottom of the first. Now with a runner on first, and Bryce Hinsdale is going to come to the plate for the Wolfpack. Let's hope his bat stays as high as it was last night. Yeah, three for three night last yeah. night for Bryce. Checking Gavin, Gavin over at first. Ball in the dirt. Ball in the dirt. That hit the Gavin's umpire. Gonna That's going to feel. Gavin's going to slide into second, second and going to be safe. That hit the uh, home plate umpire right on the forearm. Did it? Yeah. So we're going to give the uh, umpire a little bit of time. It's not the. Uh, Don't rub it. Not the youngest officiating crew we've seen <laughs> tonight. So one ball and no strikes. This game is going at a real snail space so far. We were spoiled last night. Yes, we were. Gavin's got a good lead at second. Ball outside. So two balls and no strikes. One nothing, Casadega Valley here in the bottom of the first. One out with Gavin Burchanowski at second. And there's, there's a strike. strike. So no, two, two balls and one strike. Now we've seen one. Oh, stepping off to check on Gavin at second. Well, that's low for three and one. So this one's got to be a good pitch here. Hitters count. Fairly sizable gap between center and right field, yeah. to be honest with you. Ball high. And that ball is high. So CSP so far has gotten every man on. We got one out here after the 
tag out at third, but one out, man on first and second, and that brings cleanup hitter Tate Catneys to the plate. And Tate's going to be up there swinging, no doubt. We'll pick off attempt on Gavin at second. And there's one of the first pitch strike. So Tate's now seen it. Let's see if he can swing away here. A lot of focus being paid on that lead runner. Yes, there is. Like Brian Willink used to say, let them keep throwing it. Sooner or later, it's going to get past one of them <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's right. That ball is behind, gets to the backstop, and that advances both runners. So now runners at second and third with one out. So base hit here by Tate likely scores two. Lots of room in that outfield if he can find a gap somewhere. Anything to the right side of the field, infield is going to score a run. And there's a ground ball foul down the third base line. Is there two strikes and one ball on him? Yep, one yeah. ball, two okay. strikes. So he's got to protect here. Just got to get a piece of it, hit it somewhere. And there he wastes high fast ball behind the home plate. So the count remains at one ball and two strikes. Grant Lictus on deck. Ball went behind Tate there. Yes, it did. Curve ball that did not curve. From our viewpoint, it looked like it was going to hit him in the head. <laughs> ball inside. So that's going to bring the count full. Runners at second and third. Ba first base is open. Ooh, and there's going to be a check swing, and that's going to stay fair. And Tate's going to be out at first. Gavin's going to be safe at, fir at home, and Bryce is going to advance himself to third. So RBI for Tate Katniss on the sacrifice. Half and swing bunt. Half swing bunt is right. And so Gavin Burchanowski scores the first run of the game for the Wolfpack. Bryce Hinsdale now is taking residence at third base, and we'll see if Grant Lictus can make contact here and find a hole somewhere in this infield to score another run. And there's a strike right at the knees for strike one. Looked like that ball handcuffed Tate, and you just made contact with it enough yep. to get it out and feel the play. Yep. Checking on Bryce now. Ball high, just above the letters. So that evens the count at one. Kid throws hard for Casadega Valley. Yes, he does. Matt. High. High ball. Ball two, two and one. I'd like to see Grant get a hold of one here, Kyle. Yep. Ball low. Ball low. Helps him out a little bit. Yep. So that evens it at two. Two and uh, two. Now he's got to protect two outs here with a runner on third. That pass ball is still in play to score a run if available. And there's a Grant's, Grant wastes one there. Stays alive. Two balls and two strikes. Carson White on deck for the Wolfpack. Ball high. Yeah, that's going to be 
I think that's full count, Pat. So full count to Grant Lictus. Grant was trying to steal a walk there. <laughs> he was. Yes, he was. Now get a base hit. And there's a well hit ball to right field in the runner right. And that ball's gonna drop. So RBI what is going to be double for nope. and that's gonna be safe. So I would say a RBI double and a advancement on a error for Grant Lictus. That ball was well hit. Thank you. To right field, Pat. Yeah, he hit that ball hard. And that gave the right fielder trouble. And as a result, CSP gets one across, and that's gonna, gonna lead by a score of two to one. Carson White now steps in to the box. Still with a runner in scoring position at third base with two outs here. Got to get, got to get Carson swinging the bat again. He was, he started out hot. Yeah, he was hot. Early bit of a on. slump right now, but he'll get back out of it. There's a ball in the dirt, and that's going to get to the backstop. Grant's going to stay at third. So two balls and no strikes. He's on deck. Sturgis, Colin Sturgis yep. on deck, huh? Okay. There's one right down the middle part of the plate. So two balls and one strike. That was one he'd like to yeah, see give again. It a rip. Yeah. And there's a, there's a ground ball to short. And that's going to get by the shortstop, yep. and that's going to score a run. So good job by Carson White getting back on the ball and putting pressure on the defense. And sure enough, he gets on safely with a – RBI of Grant Lictus, and that's going to make the score 3-1 Wolfpack. Colin Sturgis. Sturgis steps into the plate. And there goes Carson. And he's going to stand up, stolen base. <laughs> I heard Coach yell, get down, and, Car and Carson's in nah. <laughs> I got laundry. I have to do laundry tonight. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, it's my laundry night. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Ball high. What was the first pitch, Kyle? I think it was a strike, Pat. So I'm going to say it's one ball and one strike, but I'm not completely positive on that. Scoreboard here in Climber is no longer working, apparently. No, that was nice last night at Frewsburg. That I mean, was. Because we couldn't see the umpire right calls anyway, so yeah. it was nice to have that. Ball inside. We think two and one. Speesman on deck. And that's ball four. So base on balls and Coach Al Roller wants to have a meeting on the mound. So we will take a break with him. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. 
This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002 or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for Wolfpack baseball coverage on the Channel 989 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! From Countertop Solutions. CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is brought to you in part by Troyer's Greenhouse. Now open for the season Monday through Saturday. Troyer's Greenhouse is located at 1669 Weeks Road, just two miles west of Panama. Go Wolfpack from Troyer's Greenhouse. Welcome back to the campus of Climber Central School where we have a pitching change here in the bottom half of the first inning. Uh, number 12, Hilliker, who started for the Cougars of Casadega Valley, is now being relieved by number six, Hayward. Hilliker yep. goes to short. Yep. Shortstop went to second, it looks like. Yep. Second baseman went to center field. So well, they, they had a short leash on that. <laughs> yeah, they did. So a little housekeeping here. CSP here still in the bottom of the first. CSP leads by a score of three to one. We have two outs and runners at first and second. And Andrew Spiesman is going to be the first batter that Hayward faces. Oh, Ooh. and that hit him right in the shoulder, I believe. Yep, hit him hard enough, Kyle, that it popped over the backstop. Yep, went right over the backstop. That was right on a bone. I could, you could almost <laughs> hear it. So that is going to load the bases here. They're going to give Andrew a little bit of time there at first base to gather himself. Young strong boy, he'll yep. shake it off. He's yep. gonna have a gonna have a mark there though. <laughs> yes, he will. So a lot of uh, action here with two outs in the inning, and that's gonna bring Tanner Mahako to the plate with the bases loaded. Tanner's due. There's a ball in the dirt for ball one. Carson sneaking down that third baseline too. Pass ball is going to score him, I bet. Sturgis, no one holding him on a second. There's a, a pitch inside for strike one. One ball, one strike to Tanner Mahako. And that pop Our up play. foul behind the dugout. Oh, over the fence. One ball and two strikes to the number nine hitter for the Wolfpack. Base is loaded. CSP runners Ooh. moving on contact. Two balls and two strikes. Ball low, so full count here. Three so two. runners are going to be going with two outs, bases loaded, and a full count. And there's swing and a miss for strike three. So CSP strands the bases loaded here in the first inning, but they get three across. And after one, CSP leads three to one. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Climber. Family owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. 
Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800 295 4282 or online at Triple E Manufacturing.com. Support for CSP Wolfpack baseball coverage is provided in part by Tina Dills, ERA Team VP Licensed Real Estate Agent. Serving the Wolfpack listening area in all of Chautauqua County with real estate services for buyers, sellers, vacation rentals, and all relocation needs. For more information on how to get your move going, Tina can be reached at 716-397-7790. Tina Dills and the ERA Team VP Agents wish the Wolfpack the best of luck. Corey's only locally operated radio station is Channel 98.9. With your eerie weather, your favorite personality. Thank you so much for joining us on a Monday. You see today local news, entertainment, and information around the clock. And Corey's Modern Rock. Channel 98.9, your one radio station. Welcome back where the Wolfpack lead by a score of 3-1 to one as we enter the top half of the second inning. Some slight defensive changes for the Wolfpack. Carson White's going to move from left field to first base. Colin Sturgis is going to move from right field to left field. And Brady Phelps, Brady Phelps is going to go into right field. This is probably a result of Andrew Spiesman being hit back in the first inning right on the shoulder yeah right on the shoulder that shoulder blade probably all right so Bryce can have an efficient inning here we can get back at it yeah so the first batter Bryce is going to face here in this inning is Johnson ball high Johnson playing first base also pitched a Gem earlier this week, I guess. Ball outside. So two balls and no strikes to the big first baseman. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. That one didn't look as good as the last one. But two balls and one strike. And there's one right back at that same spot. So two and two. Two straight curveballs. My guess is this is going to be a fastball. There's a swing and a miss for strikeout number one of the inning. Out number one. And that's going to bring Pierce to the plate. He wasn't short. I believe he's now at second. Yep. There's a swing and a miss. Four straight curveballs for Bryce here. Swing and a miss. That is definitely swung. No balls and two strikes. I'm shocked that the home plate umpire had to ask the uh, base umpire <laughs> if he went. He was completely across. No balls and two strikes. And a ball high there. He turned his shoulders and everything. There's a strike right there right down the middle. So strikeout number two of the inning and out number two. And that's going to bring Rhodes. number eight Rhodes to the plate. See if Bryce can handle the side on his own here. First pitch ball. 3-1 Wolfpack here in the second inning. That looks good right there, Kyle. He calls it a ball, but it looks good to me. <laughs> Two balls and no strikes. <clears throat> There's a swing and a miss. I'd throw two more fastballs, Pat. That wasn't anywhere close. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. Two balls and one strike. Three and one. All right, there's a strike. So full count here to Rhodes. Nobody on with two outs. Base on balls. So first base on ball of the game, and that's going to bring up the number nine hitter, Swanson. They picked him off, Pat, and that is twice now we've picked him off at first, and they've been able to get get to second on get us. to second on us. So runner in scoring position. It's all right, two outs. Keep him there. Let's get the out. Rice checking the runner at second, trying to get him picked off there. A little bit harder for a lefty. So two outs here, runner at second. Yet to throw a pitch. There's a ball low to Swanson. So one ball and no strikes. There's a strike on the inside part of the plate. One ball, one strike. A lot of attention paid to yep, that guy. Yeah, keeping him in there. Two balls and one strike, I believe, to Swanson. Runner at second. Here's the 2-1, ball high for ball three. So after getting the first two batters, Bryce is now going deeper in the count on these next last two. Here's the 3-1, there's a curveball in for a strike on the outside part of the plate. So full count to Swanson. Winnagle leadoff hitter for Casadega on deck. And there's another base on ball for Bryce Insdale, and that's going to put runners at first and second. So it was relatively efficient early. Now we're Have a meeting of the minds on the mound. Nothing hurt yet though, Kyle, so. Nope. Top of the order. He got uh, reached on an error back in the first That's inning, correct. I believe, and scored. Yep. There's a ball inside for strike one. Batter did not like that call. I have to agree with him a little bit. Yeah. There's a swing and a miss for the foul tip for strike two. So no balls and two strikes on the batter. Two outs here 
Score three to one, Wolfpack. And Windnagel stays alive on the foul tip. Sure would be nice to strand two with this, I think. Yeah. <coughs> Runners are going and ball outside, so double double steal. Double steal for Casadega Valley, and that's gonna put runners at second and third. I think the count is two balls and two strikes, I think. Ball high, so three and now it's two and two now. Is that what he said? That's what he said, yeah. No, there's a guy on third. Yeah, that's just not necessary. Yep. Well, they checked him at second. Not necessary to do that. So full count to the batter. Tanner and really don't need to be out there playing game with that kid a second because he can't go anywhere. They just need to get to their spots and play it. Got him. Swing and a miss. Going to throw it to first, and they're going to get him out at first. Good. So Bryce gets out of the inning. So Casadega Valley strands two. And after one and a half, CSP leads by a score of three to one. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Dream is provided by Countertop Solutions in Clymer. Go Wolfpack! From Countertop Solutions. CSP baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Dream is provided in part by Steve Daniels Electric and Flicks Heating and Plumbing and Air Conditioning, located at 147 East Main Street in Quarry. They offer residential and light commercial new services, as well as electrical repairs, well pumps, and water conditioning systems. Phone 814 665 6034. Online at Flicks Heating Plumbing and AC.com. School sports are played by humans, coached by humans, and officiated by humans. So the next time you're sitting in the stands at a school athletic event, please remember this and maintain your humanity, especially when it comes to judging and critiquing athletes, coaches, and officials. Please show your fellow humans some respect. They'll appreciate your empathy. This message presented by NISFA and the New York State Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back to, we're an hour into this, Pat. So 26 more minutes and we'll, we will have well, like I said earlier, spent the same amount of time last night. Last night at this time night. I was driving home getting ready to mow my lawn. <laughs> so an hour in and we played an inning and a half. <laughs> I'm worried about lights tonight. <laughs> so CSP leads by a score of three to one and we're going to see the top of the order. CSP batted through the order back in the first. And we saw a pitching change in that first inning as well for Casadega Valley's. Number six Hayward comes out to start the inning. He came in in relief and he's gonna throw two balls to Caden Beckerink. So two balls and no strikes. Beckerink, Burchanowski, Hinsdale here. All four. All four, maybe through four balls. And that's going to bring Gavin Burchanowski to the plate. I would imagine Caden's going to be stealing pretty quickly here on first. 
And there's a foul. Did he foul it? Nope. No, he did not foul. Okay. So pass ball. Swing and a miss. Pass ball for Burchanowski. And that advances Caden Beckering to second. No balls and one strike to the freshman from Clymer, who had a great defensive game, I thought, last oh, night. Oh, absolutely. He played a great game at shortstop. No balls and two strikes. And there's a foul down the first baseline that's out of play. Stayed alive there. Straighten that out. Get to Caden running. There's the 0-2. Caden goes, and there's a hit and run action going on. And foul tip. So Caden's got to trot back to second, and Gavin stays alive. Count remains no balls and two strikes. And there he goes again, and there's a foul down the third baseline. Kyle, it looks like Casadega has changed a little bit in the infield. Winnagel is back at shortstop. Our second base shortstop is uh, Pierce. He's back in his spot, and yeah, they moved Tillerker's Hilliker back to here at catcher. catcher yep. so I don't know where the catcher went to. So no balls and two strikes to Burchanowski. And there's a curveball high. A one ball and two strikes. And there's a base oh, hit right by over top of Bur Gavin Burchanowski. Caden's <laughs> And that almost hit Caden right in the head. But he that. scores hit and run action. It worked on that one. And... Gavin Burchanowski with an RBI single, and that makes it 4-1 Wolfpack. Cal, that ball went directly over his head it as did. he was running it to did. third. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure he saw it. I, I oh, no, he was focused on running, yeah. <laughs> and that's probably a good thing because that would. So Burchanowski at first. Hinsdale steps to the plate. Bryce reached on a base on ball back in the first inning. No outs here, 4-1 Wolfpack. And there goes Gavin, comes up throwing, and he's going to slide in safe. So stolen base for Burchanowski, and he puts duck on the pond for Bryce, see if he can help himself here by finding a gap somewhere. Ball low. I believe it's two balls and one strike. It is 3 0. But imagine Bryce does not have the green light here, Pat. Oh, jeez. That ball is going to get to the outfield. And Gavin Gavin's going to go to third. So. The Brian Willink special right there. Yeah, he, he always said that. Hate that play because sooner or later they're going to throw it away. So three balls and no strikes. Runner at third. And there's a strike down the middle part of the plate. Three wonder balls and one strike. wonder if they're listening to us traveling down to – they're going to North Carolina to play golf, aren't they, Brian and Dale? And oh, them? are they? I don't know if they've Kill left trip? Yep, yep. So if you're listening, guys, you're missing a beautiful day here. Yeah. <laughs> and bring some weather back bring with you when back you come. With you. Base on balls for Bryce. So Bryce reaches on a walk, and let's put runners at first and third with no outs. And big hitting Tate Catneys to the plate. Or full swing bunter. <laughs> he had a full swing butt in the first inning. I wondered if I said that, if you would then in turn say something about <laughs> yes, his swinging absolutely. butt. Absolutely. <laughs> And that swing and a miss foul. 
Bryce was running on the play, which you would expect with a runner at third. They're so not even holding Bryce on. No. No balls and one strike. And there you try to pick him off at third. Bryce steals easily to second. So runners at second and third, no outs. One ball and one strike to Tate. Ball inside, two and one. Just gotta get the barrel on the bat here. Gonna score a couple of runs. Barrel on the ball, not on the bat. Ah. There's a swing and a miss, or swing and a foul tip. He's loving them high pitches yep. tonight for some reason. One ball, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes, according to the umpire. Two balls here. and yeah. two strikes? Yeah. Two and two. Ball inside, so full count to Katniss. Grant Lictus on deck, who hit one almost to the fence back in the first to score a couple of runs. And there's that high fastball, Pat. And that's going to be left field trouble. No. Shortstop, made, Shortstop the made the catch. So out number one, no damage done. Unable to get a run in. So still remains 4-1 Wolfpack with runners at second and third. Now with two outs. No, one out. Or one out. Just one out. One yep. out. Caden scored. Grant with a big hit back in the first, and he looks at strike one right at the letters. There's a nice curveball on the outside part, so Grant down early, no balls and two strikes. 4-1, Wolfpack here in the bottom of the second. And there's a ground ball that's going to be trouble, Pat. Third baseman comes up throwing. He's going to get him. He's going to get him at first, and Gavin stays at third. He would have liked to have seen Gavin score there, I think. Right, yep, Pat? Yeah, absolutely. As soon as that third ball. baseman committed to going to first. Got to be heading home. Yep. So still second and third with now two outs. Strike on the outside part. This is CSP's problem last night. They got second and third with one out and couldn't score. Now they got second and third. Curveball completely fooled Carson there. Yes, it did. <laughs> He's got to settle in and just get to hit it here now. Bad on the ball. Swing and a miss for strikeout number one of the inning. So nice job by Hayward to fight his way out of that. And CSP strands two. But they get one across to make it 4-1. Wolfpack will be right back after these. Funding guys. for this Channel 98.9 Sports. Coverage of CSP broadcast. Wolfpack Baseball is brought channel. to you in part by. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Climber, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Necker's Company General Store. Providing Climber with groceries, apparel, gift items, and so much more for over 100 years. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Necker's Company General Store for their support.
Welcome back to the campus of Climber Central School where we have a beautiful Thursday evening where CSP leads the Casadega Valley Cougars by a score of four to one. And we're gonna enter inning number three. Bryce Hinsdale, who started the game for the Wolfpack, will get the nod here in the inning. And we will see number two, three, two, and, four. three and four. So Edson for Casadega Valley. See if Bryce can be efficient here in this inning. Ball high. One and no. Edson, Kroll, and Hayward here in this inning. Two balls and one strike, or two balls and no strikes, excuse me. Oh, that was a tough call. Oh, good there, three yes, balls and no strikes. All four, so through four pitch walk to Edson, and that's going to bring Kroll to the plate. So Casadega Valley, for the second time in three innings, gets their leadoff man on. And a little help there little for help Bryce. There for Bryce. And if you're a hitter, Pat, you know he just threw four straight balls. I'm getting up there waiting to see if, if he see can throw a strike. strike. Yeah. No balls and one strike. Double, double play ball here, Kyle would be bonus. Ooh, and there's a foul tip hit. Somebody. That one hit Grant, I Did think. It. So no balls and two strikes to the batter. Hit him right in the forearm, I think, Pat. So the, the umpire and the catcher have been hitting the forearm yep. so far tonight. No balls and two strikes. There's a swing and a miss for strike three, so nice, much needed strikeout there for Bryce. At least throwing strikes there, and that's out number one. And that's going to bring Hayward, the relief pitcher, to the plate. And pickoff attempt goes pickoff out of play. Goes out of play, unnecessary again. Ball inside. One ball, no strikes to the batter. 4-1, Wolfpack here in the third. One out, runner on second. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. Evens the count at one. You gotta like a kid give, coming to the plate, Pat, with no batting gloves on. That's old school there. Yes, it is. Two balls and one strike. Paying a lot of attention to that kid at second, and I, uh, it always scares me. You know, you get your, your fielders out of position. Three balls and one strike to the batter.
Foul ball down the third base line. That's going to bring the count full. Ball is in the dirt. So second walk of the inning. And that's going to put runners at first and second with one out. Coach Marino wants to have a chat, so we're going to take a quick break here. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. UTAG's Body Shop in Cory is helping to bring you this broadcast. Along with collision repair and refinishing, UTAG's offers frame straightening services. Located at... Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball here on Channel 98.9. Runners at first and second. Now with one out here. 4-1, Wolfpack. Ball high, 1-0. I'm confused by the strike zone again with this guy, Kyle. But And there's a check swing that's going to be out of play. Out of play. One ball and one strike. Two and one to the batter. Four one here in the third inning. There's a strike. There's one there. Two balls and two strikes. And there's a well-hit ball to right left field, and that's going to get by Colin Sturgis. And that's going to score one. That's going to score two. And so a stand-up double for Hilliger, and that's going to make the score four, three, Wolfpack. So good base hit there by Hilliger. And that's going to bring Johnson to the plate. There's a foul tip. Hit him in the mass, that one. So no balls and one strike. One out still, right, Pat? One out, yes. Two runs scored. Guy on second. Third ball on the outside part of the plate. One ball and one strike. One ball and two strikes to the batter. Pierce on deck for the Cougars. 
And there's a ground ball to second. Tanner's going to come up throwing, and he's going to get him at first. So that advances the runner from second to third. But ju nice job by Tanner Mahako to make the nice play at second and get the out. So no harm, no foul there. And with two outs, that's going to bring Pierce to the plate. Ball high for ball one. There's one right down the middle part of the plate. That evens the count at one, four, three. Wolfpack lead here in the third. Castadega Valley's got a runner at third base. Hilliger, who had a two RBI double. There's a foul tip for Pierce. So Bryce ahead in the count, one ball, two strikes. Nice to get out of this, even though they've scored two. Got him. Yeah, there's a curveball in for a strike. So strikeout number one of the inning, out number three. So Casadega Valley strands one, but they get two across. And after two and a half, it is four, three, Wolfpack. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for Wolfpack baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! from Countertop Solutions. CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is brought to you in part by Troyer's Greenhouse, now open for the season Monday through Saturday. Troyer's Greenhouse is located at 1669 Weeks Road, just two miles west of Panama. Go Wolfpack from Troyer's Greenhouse. Welcome back to Climber, New York, where CSP is playing host to the Casadega Valley Cougars. And after two and a half innings, CSP leads by a score of four to three. And Sturgis, Pat, Phelps, and Mahako. Phelps is in for Speesman. As Pat and I were talking during the break, CSP's got to get the bats going. Started to get them going a little bit late on Monday night, late in that win over Pine Valley. Uh, did not have him going yesterday in a 4 nothing loss to Frewsburg. There's a good pitch by Hayward there for strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. So Colin down early, no balls and two strikes. There's a foul tip to stay alive. There's one right down the middle part of the plate for strikeout number one and out number one. And that's going to bring Phelps to the plate. One out here in the bottom of the third. <laughs> that zone seems to be widening out a little <laughs> bit more. For sure it was wide. One ball, one strike. 
to Phelps. Tanner Mahako on deck. Just good cut there by Phelps. Strike two. There you Ooh, go. There's there a you go. Ball inside. He gets makes contact. Hayward comes up throwing, and he's going to get him at first. So nice play by the pitcher there, and that's going to be out number two of the inning. And that's going to bring Tanner Mahako to the plate. Four three Wolfpack here in the third. Ball low, 1 0. Oh. CSP plays host to Brockton tomorrow night here at 5 o'clock. You can listen to that game on channel 98.9 and Facebook Live. I looked at the weather forecast, Pat. I'm not completely sure that the next three days are going to be all that great for baseball, but we'll see. Let's hope it just holds off to about 7.30 tomorrow night. That's all we ask. And there's a ground ball to third by Tanner. Long throw, and that's going to get him. So CSP goes down in the third, one, two, three. And after three, it is Wolfpack four. Casadega Valley three. We'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage is provided in part by Tina Dills, ERA Team VP Licensed Real Estate Agent. Serving the Wolfpack listening area in all of Chautauqua County with real estate services for buyers, sellers, vacation rentals, and all relocation needs. For more information on how to get your move going, Tina can be reached at 716-397-7790. Tina Dills and the ERA Team VP agents wish the Wolfpack the best of luck. Corey's only locally operated radio station is Channel 98.9. With your eerie weather, your favorite personality. Thank you so much for joining us on a Monday. You see today local news, entertainment, and information around the clock. And Corey's Modern Rock. Channel 98.9, your one radio station. Welcome back where after three innings, CSP leads by a score of four to three. And as we enter the fourth inning, Bryce Hinsdale is going to get his today's starter is going to get the nod here in the fourth. See if he can be a hair more efficient than he was back in the third. And he's going to face eight, nine, and top. Eight, nine, and the top of the order here. There's a ground ball right back to Bryce. What you doing? And he's going to flip it over to Carson. <laughs> Made that way too close. Yes, man. yeah. Way too close. I may have whispered into the mic, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> so out number one of the inning, one pitch, one out. So that's a good start. And this is going to bring number nine hitter Swanson to the plate. Ball in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Ball outside, so 2-0 and oh to the number nine hitter. Windnagel on deck. Ball low, so 3-0. Oh. 
Three balls and one strike. Could use two more of those. Outside, so base on ball here in the fourth, and that's going to bring leadoff hitter Winnagel to the plate. See if we can turn two here, Pat. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, a swing and a miss for Winnagel, strike one. And there's a foul down the first base line. So Bryce ahead early here, no balls and two strikes. Kyle, I'm thinking with the guys on first and second, I, if, as, a, as a pitcher, I wouldn't worry about them. The only time they've stolen is when we tried to pick them off. <laughs> yeah, right. You know? Yeah, that's exactly right. I don't think they're going to run on Grant. And there's a curveball in for a strike. <laughs> when Nagel did not. <laughs> like that one, and he thought he told the umpire where he thought that pitch was at. So, two outs here in the inning, and that brings Edson to the plate. And there goes the runner, and Tanner's going to apply the tag, and he slides in safe. So, good throw, good tag, good stolen base. Make me a liar, didn't they? They just made yeah. me a liar. Yes, they did. That's okay, though. So now runner in scoring position. That ball was high, I believe, for ball one. Yeah, there's a pop-up that's going to be behind first base. Carson White is there to make the grab. So after a walk in the inning, CSP gets out number three. No harm, no foul in that inning. So after... Three and a half, we have CSP leading 4-3. We'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. CSP Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided in part by Steve Daniels Electric and Flicks Heating and Plumbing and Air Conditioning, located at 147 East Main Street in Quarry. They offer residential and light commercial new services, as well as electrical repairs, well pumps, and water conditioning systems. Phone 814-665-6034. Online at FlixHeatingPlumbingAndAC.com. School sports are played by humans, coached by humans, and officiated by humans. So the next time you're sitting in the stands at a school athletic event, please remember this and maintain your humanity, especially when it comes to judging and critiquing athletes, coaches, and officials. Please show your fellow humans some respect. They'll appreciate your empathy. This message presented by NISFA and the New York State Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on channel 98.9. CSP enters the bottom half of the fourth inning with the top of the order. So Caden Beckering, Gavin Burchanowski, and Bryce Insdale in this inning, hopefully more. And that first pitch was low and inside for ball one. And that one's low as well. Hayward coming out for Casadega Valley for his third inning. Came in in relief back in the first inning, and actually pitched fairly well. Yeah, Pat. he's pitching well. Two balls and one strike to the batter. Got to get something started here, Kyle. Oof. 
That evens the count at two, two balls and two strikes. Now See. he's got to settle in and hit one here. Taden can put bat on the ball here. Oops. That ball is high and outside. So full count to the guy they call Potter. Strike three at the knees. So out number one of the inning. And it's going to bring Gavin Burchanowski to the plate. And there's a base hit to second. Trouble there, and I think Gavin beat it out. He yep, did. Yep. So good hustle there by Gavin Burchanowski, and he gets a single here in the fourth. Winnego made a heck of a play on it. He tried to get it in the air, and it got caught underneath his glove. I think he couldn't pick it out of there quick enough to get it yep. to make the play. So one out here in the fourth runner at first, and that brings Bryce Hinsdale to the plate, and Gavin's going to take stealing, and he's going to get down, and he's going to be safe. So stolen base, second stolen base of the game, I believe, for Gavin Burchanowski. And that puts a runner in scoring position early here in the fourth inning. And there's a slow roller to the pitcher, and they're going to get him at first base. That advances Burchanowski to third, but we now have two outs in the inning. We just are not hitting the bat, the no. ball squarely on the bat at all. Just a lot of hard grounders into the ground are getting back to the pitcher. Tate Catneys comes to the plate. There's a big swing and a miss there. Would like to get that run from third, Pat. Give us a little bit of insurance. Yeah, here. a little bit of a cushion. Ball in the Ball dirt. Ball in the dirt. Good stop by Hilliker there behind the plate. One ball and one strike to Katniss. There's that high fastball. He laid off that one, Pat. Yeah, he thought about it, I think, but. Two he, and one. And there's a ground Shot ball that's going to be line. fair. So that's going to be an RBI double for Tate Catanese. Unnecessarily sliding into <laughs> second. <laughs> well, he's officially dirty now. So RBI double for Tate Catanese. That was a well-hit ball right down the third base line. That went right between the third baseman and the, the bag. And that's going to bring senior Grant Lictus to the plate. Grant with a big hit back in the first inning to right field. See if he can do the same thing. We'll have a little two out lightning here. So 5-3 Wolfpack with a runner on second. And there goes Tate oh. and a little hit and run. They were not even looking at Tate. Nope. He got a massive jump. So no balls in one strike. <laughs> Ball high, even as a count at one. Two outs here in the fourth, 5-3 Wolfpack. Runner at second. Ball low. Ball's in the dirt. Tate's going to go to third. <laughs> he slides, slides aggressively into third base.
Oh, two balls and one strike, I believe. And that ball's going to get by, and Tate stays at third. Well, like I'm shocked with that. I I'm shocked. Too, for as aggressive as Tate is. I don't is, know if I'm he didn't see it come off the catcher's glove or not. So two balls and two strikes. Runner at third, two outs here in the fourth. Ball high, so full count. Carson White on deck for the Wolfpack. And there's a fly ball to left field. That might be trouble, Pat. And it's not. Left fielder makes the grab in play. So CSP strands one, and they get one across the plate. And after four, it is CSP five, Castaga Valley three. We'll be right back after these messages. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Climber, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Necker's Company General Store. Providing Climber with groceries, apparel, gift items, and so much more for over 100 years. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Necker's Company General Store for their support. Welcome back, where CSP leads by a score of 5-3 to three as we start the fifth inning here in sunny Climber, New York. And Bryce Hinsdale, today's starting pitcher for the Wolfpack, is going to get any number five underway for us here. And he's going to face three, four, five hitters, I believe. Yep, for you're correct. Castadega Valley, which means Kroll is going to lead us off here. I'd like to go an inning or two here with nobody on for Casadega. Yep. They've had runners on almost every inning. And there's a ground ball to Carson White. He's going to not be able to make the play. And as a result, Casadega Valley gets the leadoff man on. And that's going to bring Hayward to the plate. Curve ball way outside and loop. Kroll gets stolen, gets stand up stolen base. And that immediately puts a runner in scoring position for Casadega Valley here in the fifth inning. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. Evens the count at one. Oh. Look good to me, Kyle. Yep, ball inside, <clears> looks <throat> like. Two balls and one strike. There, a swing and a miss for strike two. 
So that was a nice curveball right there. Yep, two balls and two strikes to the batter. Runner and second, no outs here in the fifth inning. 5-3, Wolfpack lead. There's Runner going. Strike three, so struck him out. Struck him out, and but stolen base for Kroll, and we have a runner at third now for Casadega Valley with one out. And that's going to bring Hilliker to the plate. He had a big a double RBI last time. double back in the last inning. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. No balls in one strike. Could use a strikeout here, Pat, for that sure. That was right across the letters, that one there was. It came down into the zone. Yeah, a strikeout here would be nice. Hold that kid at third. Yep. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch, and that's way high. Two Grant made a great play to save yep. that one. Good job by Grant there. Keep that ball from getting to the backstop. There's a foul ball, ball down ball. the third baseline. That evens the count at two. Two balls and two strikes. And there's a strikeout that we needed. Nice pitch there by Bryce, and that's out number two of the inning. So runner in third with two outs, and that brings Big Johnson to the plate. And there's a ground ball to Tanner Mahako, and he's going to throw him out at first. So CSP gets out of the inning. And after four and a half, CSP leads by a score of five to three. We'll be right back. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. UTAG's Body Shop in Cory is helping to bring you this broadcast. Along with collision repair and refinishing, UTAG's offers frame straightening services. Located at 633 East Smith Street in Cory, UTAG's Body Shop. Man, I loved playing high school sports growing up. And it's fun being a fan now, don't get me wrong, but sitting in the stands feels like I'm missing out on all the action, you know? I wanted to get back in the game, so I signed up to be a high school official. It takes me back to my playing days. I'm supporting students, and I get paid to make the big calls. Do you want to see the game up close? Sign up to become an official in New York at highschoolofficials.com. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Five-three Wolfpack lead here in Clymer, New York, where they face the Casadega Valley Cougars. And as we enter the bottom half of the fifth inning, CSP is going to bring Carson White, Colin Sturgis, and Brady Phelps to the plate. And they're going to see number six Hayward, who came, back in, came in in relief back in the first inning and has done a really nice job for Casadega Valley since then. Yeah, he's maintained this. I mean, he's held us to just two runs. And very few hits, so. 
So Carson White steps into the box, and he's up there swinging Good. foul. Good job by Carson. Good choice. Yep. Yep. Let's get up and swing the bat. So Carson just fouled down the third base line for strike one. There's a curve down low, and that evens the count at one. Ball two outside. Be nice to get the leadoff man on here, Pat. Yes, I agree. It's There's a shot. There's a well hit ball to left field. Right to him. Uh, right to him. He didn't have to move very much. So long out there by Carson White. Good job of getting bad on the ball there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we need to see right there. We haven't had many of those tonight. No, Matt. no. We haven't had many of those in the last two games. But so well hit ball by Carson, but right to the left fielder. And that's out number one. And that's going to bring Colin Sturgis to the plate. And Colin's up there swinging. So. That, Somebody must have said something in that dugout because they're up there swinging the bat, which is good. No balls in one strike. Colin's a big boy. He should have a lot of power. He gets a hold of one. Ooh. Ooh, that almost hit him there. Yeah. One ball, one strike. Ball in the dirt. Ball low. Two balls and one strike to the senior from Climber. Brady Phelps on deck. And there's one off the end of the bat foul. A little ahead of that one. Yeah. So that evens it at two. There's a swing and a miss for out number two of the inning. And that's going to bring Brady Phelps to the plate here in the bottom of the fifth. Brady got a piece of it last time at bat. Yep. I think he hit it right back. He hit it back to the pitcher. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, hmm. there's a ground ball to short. And that's going to be trouble, Pat. And sure enough, Brady Phelps gets a single. Way to go, Brady. Good job by him. Again, there's evidence of just putting pressure on the defense by putting the ball in play. Yep, yep. to make them feel that. That's all we got to do. So CSP has their first runner of the inning. And first base, and that's going to bring Tanner Mahako, and he's going right to be up there short. swinging right back to short. He's going to come up and make the throw, and he's going to be safe at first. Good hustle. So Wolfpack here with a little two-out lightning and now have runners at first and second, and that's going to bring the top of the order to the plate. Caden Beckrink, who's due, Pat, yes, he is. for a big hit. He's walked twice and struck out. Ball in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher there. That saved stay, saved the runners from advancing. Yes, they were moving. Nobody's holding Brady on at second, really. Well, they're not holding Tanner on at first. So Base hit here likely scores one at least. See if Caden can find a gap somewhere here. And there's a well hit ball to right field. It's going to be just foul. Oh. Boy, he made contact there. Good contact there. But just foul down the right field line. And as a result, I think that brings the count to one ball and two strikes. Uh, 
And there's a ground ball to short. And that's going to be trouble for the shortstop. And so three straight hits to the shortstop. And now CSP all with two outs, Pat, I believe. Yes, you're right. All with two outs as the base is loaded. And the number two hitter, Gavin Burchanowski, comes to the plate. There's a foul ball. So I think no balls and two strikes Correct. on Gavin. Yep. So now he's got to protect. Base is loaded here in the bottom of the fifth. Five, three, Wolfpack. And swing and a miss. So Hayward gets out of the inning. So for the second time this game, CSP leaves the bases loaded. And after five, CSP five. Casadega Valley 3. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002 or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for Wolfpack baseball coverage on the Channel 989 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! From Countertop Solutions. CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is brought to you in part by Troyer's Greenhouse. Now open for the season Monday through Saturday. Troyer's Greenhouse is located at 1669 Weeks Road, just two miles west of Panama. Go Wolfpack from Troyer's Greenhouse. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on Channel 98.9 and Facebook Live. CSP, as we enter the top half of the sixth inning, CSP leads by a score of five to three. And Bryce Hinsdale, CSP's starting pitcher for today, is gonna take the mound here in the sixth inning and he's gonna face seven, eight, and nine hitters for the Cougars. Yeah, it'd be nice if he's efficient for this inning. Get right through this and then get in here and maybe get some runs, a little insurance. And there's a ground ball that's going to go foul down the third baseline. <laughs> so no balls in one strike to the big shortstop. Foul ball. Balls foul. Right at the sheriff car. Yep. Oh, a little short. So no balls and two strikes here to the s number seven hitter. Got to go right after him here. Yep. Ball outside. That got away from Bryce a little yep. bit. Yep. Sorry. Good place to waste one there. One ball, two strikes. Foul. And that that's fair. Is fair down the third base line. And that's going to be a, a double. stand up double for Pierce. And that's going to bring Rhodes to the plate. So, runner at second with no outs here. Yeah, don't hold him on. I wouldn't no. hold him on. He's not going anywhere, I wouldn't nope. think. So foul tip for strike one. Now, now, 
Yeah, with a 5-3 lead late in, this, in a game like this, I'm focused on the batter. Ball inside, one ball, one strike. Not a ton of speed at second either. No, no, that's why they just gotta play their position, I think. And there's gonna be a base hit to right field. And that's gonna be runners at first and third. That was a little bit of a blooper there, yeah, Pat. Yeah, yeah. So first and third with no outs here. And we'll see how long Coach Moreno wants to go with Bryce in this inning. Yeah, they're bottom of their orders, producing in this inning, aren't yeah. they? And that brings Swanson to the plate. So first and third, no outs. 5-3 Wolfpack here in the sixth inning. Okay, got him second and so third now, no outs. Second and third with no outs. That, I believe, was a strike, Pat. Yes. And I'm not sure we knew exactly what we were doing on the throwdown either. Well, but. Grant had thrown some signals out there, so. <laughs> ball high, so one ball, one strike here to the batter. This would be key. CSP could somehow get the heck out of this little mess that we're in. There's a strike for strike two. One ball, two strikes to the batter. There's a foul tip. Stayed alive there. Yeah. Remains one ball and two strikes. Take him yourself here, Bryce. Ball high, two and two. Got it, swing good. and a miss on that curveball for out number one. So much needed strikeout there for Hinsdale, and that's going to bring the top of the order to the pl to the plate. Five three Wolfpack with one out here in the sixth. Runners at second and third, and Winnagel steps into the box, and there's a ground ball. And that's going to be safe. And that's going to score two. So CSP's throwing the baseball around here. And as a result, we got a tie ball game. Five, five here in the top of the sixth. Coach Moreno wants to talk it over. Take a break. And with that, we're going to take a timeout, pay some bills. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and often-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triple emanufacturing.com. 
Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball coverage is provided in part by Tina Dills, ERA Team VP Licensed Real Estate Agent. Serving the Wolfpack listening area in all of Chautauqua County with real estate services for buyers, sellers, vacation rentals, and all relocation needs. For more information on how to get your move going, Tina can be reached at 716-397-7790. Tina Dills and the ERA Team VP Agents wish the Wolfpack the best of luck. Corey's only locally operated radio station is Channel 98.9. With your eerie weather, your favorite personality. Thank you so much for joining us on a Monday. You see today local news, entertainment, and information around the clock. And Corey's Modern Rock. Channel 98.9, your one radio station. Six. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball where we have a tie ball game after a couple runs there for the Cougars in the top of the sixth. And as a result, we have a score of five to five and we have a pitching change here. Bryce Insdale goes five and a third, I think. Yep. One out, Yep. five and a third. And that's gonna bring Caden Beckerink from center field into onto the mound and he's going to inherit a runner at third base with one out. So CSP's got to be careful here. And ball high and inside. CSP defensively bringing the infield in. Uh, I actually would bring, be bringing them in a little bit further, to be honest with you. This is Edson at the plate. There's a strike right across the middle of the plate. So one ball, one strike here. Good curveball there. That's low and outside, I guess. So two balls and one strike. Ball high. So three balls and one strike to Edson. Kroll on deck for the Cougars. There's one right down the middle of the plate. So full count here to the big Edson. Oh, boy, is that big. Holy cow, Pat. That's a great play. Tag uh, picked him off at third base. So great job by Caden Beckerink and Gavin Burchanowski. And <laughs> that is an absolute killer. I got I, I, the little bit that I know Al Roller, <laughs> he has got to be <laughs> hitting nails on first base over there. So two outs here now, and I think it's a full count. Yep. Boy, that is such a significant out pass. Strike here. Got him. Swing and a miss. So CSP somehow gets themselves out of that inning. And after five and a half, it is all tied up. 5-5 five, five here in Climber. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions in Clymer. Go Wolfpack! from Countertop Solutions. CSP baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Dream is provided in part by Steve Daniels Electric and Flicks Heating and Plumbing and Air Conditioning, located at 147 East Main Street in Quarry. They offer residential and light commercial new services, as well as electrical repairs, well pumps, and water conditioning systems. Phone 814-665-6034. Online at FlixHeatingPlumbingAnd.com. School 
sports are played by humans, coached by humans, and officiated by humans. So the next time you're sitting in the stands at a school athletic event, please remember this and maintain your humanity, especially when it comes to judging and critiquing athletes, coaches, and officials. Please show your fellow humans some respect. They'll appreciate your empathy. This message presented by NISFA and the New York State Athletic Administrators Association. Welcome back where we are have ourselves a game here in Clymer, New York, CSP and Casadega Valley are all square at five as we enter the bottom of the sixth. And CSP, CSP is gonna bring their horses to the plate. Three, four, five hitters, which is Hinsdale, Katniss, and Lictus. So let's see if we can get a leadoff man on here and get one across the plate. Get three outs in the top of the seventh and go home. Go home and have some dinner. First pitch ball to Bryce. And there's a ground ball that's going to get by the first baseman. So Bryce is going to round first, and he's going to go to second. Nice. So Bryce with a double to lead us off this inning. And that is much needed for the Wolfpack. And that's going to bring Tate Catanese to the plate. The ball was hit hard down the first base line past the first baseman it really I think it was between him and the bag Pat yeah yeah he made a stab at it and it jumped over his glove I think Tate's due to find a gap somewhere here Pat oh he had that hit that double earlier yep. right down the line Take one of those again yeah right down the line so no outs here runner at second five five that ball was Tate didn't like that pitch very much. Showing a little disgust. See if he can do something with his bat to do the talking here. Yep, put a little fire in that bat. There's awfully dangerous to be doing that right now. That ball hit one of those two players. I don't know if yep. it hit Bryce or if it hit the second baseman. That's what held it in play. Keep toying with the pitcher. He might get a block out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Tate calls time. It's a little bit of his dad in him right there, folks. <laughs> You're going to throw one high and inside on me, I'm going to Take my time here. Yeah. And there goes Bryce. There's a ball high. He's got to get down, Pat. And he's going to be out. He's going to be out. Good. Uh, that good. was a good pitch to. Uh, yeah, he was standing up. On. Good pitch to run on, and uh, ball was outside, and he got him by quite a quite a bit, to be honest with you. So one out here in the sixth inning. Now bases are empty for Tate. Yeah, he's got to start us up again. Yep. I think it's two balls and no strikes. Yep. Three balls and no strikes. Imagine he's got the take sign here. Okay, runner on. Runner on. So we got some speed on the bases now with Tate and one out. And that's going to bring big Grant Lictus to the plate. Five all here in Clymer. CSP is looking to get one across the plate. And there's a ball that's going to be in the past the second baseman. That's going to move Tate to third. So a uh, single for Grant Lictus and CSP's got something cooking here in the sixth with runners at 
first and third with one out. How sweet would that have been to still have Bryce on second, though? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Carson White is going to come to the plate for the Wolfpack. And he's been making good contact today. Yep. And all he's looking to do is get the ball out of the infield. He somehow. hit one hard to left field last time at bat. And if your CSP Grant's going to be stealing from first to eliminate the double play. And then uh, if you're Carson, put the ball anywhere to the right side of the field, he's going to score a run here. Oh, Tate's got to go. He's good. And Tate's going to score, and that Grant's going to stay. We got all kinds of things. We've had no call here. out there. There's been no call by that umpire. No. I don't think the umpire really knows what's going on, but Tate scores. Tate scores. So it definitely is 6 5 Wolfpack. And they're going to have a discussion here. See, I think what happened, Pat, is. Uh, Winnagle tagged Grant. And but, dropped the and, ball. But dropped the ball. I don't think Grant knew that. Oh. So I think Grant might have come off the bag thinking that he was out. And so then Winnagle came back and tagged him. But either way, Tate scores. It's either one out and Grant's on second or it's two outs with nobody on. Right. And, but, but that way, run still counts. The run still counts. So 6-5 Wolfpack here. And the runner is out at second. Okay. So two outs now here in the, in the inning. Coach, White, Coach White's having a discussion with the um, home plate umpire. Trying to get a clarification, I think. Yep. Okay, so we got one run. So I think, Pat, that there was some pitches. There's been a pitch thrown to Carson. Is that right? No. No. No, Grant started moving quickly. Okay. Yep. All right. So two outs here, six five Wolfpack. And Carson White's to, White is going to step into the box. He can start us again. There's a good hit. And there's a hit to right field. That sounds that tough. Trouble. And it's not though. So three outs here in the sixth, but. After six, CSP leads 6-5 after getting one there in the bottom of the sixth. CSP will see if they can go one, two, three and get this win under their belt when we return. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting and all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Necker's Company General Store. Providing Climber with groceries, apparel, gift items, and so much more for over 100 years. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks Necker's Company General Store for their support. Welcome back to Climber Central School, where CSP 
leads by a score of six to five over Casadega Valley Cougars as we enter the top of the seventh inning. CSP looking to get three outs here and get win number six under their belt. Three, four, five for Casadega. So Casadega so the meat got, of their order. got the meat of the order up. And leading off is going to be Kroll for the Cougars facing Caden Beckerink. A big swing and a miss to start us off. Caden came in in relief back in the last inning for today's starter for the Wolfpack, Bryce Hinsdale. Oh, uh, good looking curveball there pitch by Caden. That was a great pitch. So one ball and one strike here to Kroll. <laughs> Having a discussion about balls and strikes, I guess. Ball high, two and one. He may have heard our disgust in the pitch, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> and he yelled at the coaches, so that's I, fine. I wondered. There's a big swing and a miss, so that evens the count at two. See if Caden can do this himself here. Now a good curveball there that rolled in chase, so full count here to the batter. I'd like to keep that leadoff runner yeah. from getting on base, Pat. And there's a pop-up to Tanner, Tanner. Mahako at second. And he's going to make the grab for out number one. So good job by Tanner. And that's going to bring number 12, Hilliker. Um, Hayward. Hayward. Sorry, Hayward is going to be up. Hilliker's going to be on deck. <laughs> Hayward, who's come in relief in this inning, Gone the distance pretty much. There's a swing and a miss for strike one. There's strike two. So Caden Beckerink up early, no balls and two strikes. That ball's foul behind home plate. So it remains 0 and 2. And there's a pop up. It's going to be foul. Almost in our uh, press box here, Pat. <laughs> our uncovered press box. <laughs> our open air <laughs> press box. <laughs> So it remains no balls and two strikes to Hayward. And there's a grounder to second. Tanner's going to come up throwing, and they got him at first. So good job by Tanner Mahako here in the seventh inning. He's got both put outs. And CSP now with one more out remaining. And it's going to bring number 12 Hilliger to the plate. 6-5 Wolfpack here in the top of the seventh with now two outs, bases empty. And there's a foul tip off of Grant's mask. <laughs> I think it's funny this umpire insists on throwing the ball yeah, out. Yeah. He's given giving uh, Grant a little bit of a break here. No balls and one strike. Uh, 
a strike on the outside part. So no balls and two strikes. So CSP down to their hopefully last strike here. Caden got a little more oomph there. Yes, he did. Trying to get that one across the plate. Ball was low. One ball, two strikes. And there's a curveball that's hit to left field, and Sturgis Colin makes Sturgis catch. makes the catch, and that's out number three. And CSP captures the 6-5 win here at home over Casadega Valley. So pretty good baseball game, Pat. Yes, it was. Went out, yes, it was. Uh, two and a half hour game that uh, the difference between this one and the last two hour game we were in, uh, that game was uh, snowing. <laughs> yes, yes, this was a nice this weather. Was a At least we were nice, here in nice uh, weather. Nice evening of baseball here in Clymer, but uh, CSP was able to get their bats going late in the game again, and uh, we're able to capture a 6-5 win. So we're back at it on tomorrow night, tomorrow night yeah. against Brockton, right back here on channel 98.9 for Pat Catney's. I'm Kyle Hinsdale, CSP with a 6-5 win over Casadega Valley here this evening. We will see everyone tomorrow night until then, have a good evening. Thanks for listening to this broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream at channel989.org. This broadcast is presented by by Lictus Oil and Propane, Countertop Solutions, Catfish Pallet and Wood Supply, Triple E Manufacturing, Necker's Company General Store, Daniels Electric and Flicks Heating and Plumbing, The Cornerstone Restaurant, J. Edwards Insurance, Hoyer's Greenhouse, Mosier's Carpeting, U-Tags Body Shop, and Tina Dills, ERA Team VP Licensed Real Estate Agent. Tune in next time for all the action of CSP Wolfpack Baseball.